The question is not why does Justin Trudeau suddenly not love his country, because the question is ridiculous. I live this country in my bones every breath I take, and I'm not going to stand here and somehow defend that I actually do love Canada, because we know I love Canada. The question is what's happening to our country? Why do millions of Quebecers not see themselves in this government? Why do millions of women not recognize this country? Why do millions of young people disconnect from our politics, from our world? Because they do not like, they do not see the Canada that we've built over decades reflected not in the policies of this government, but in the values that this government's putting forward. This country is a country of openness, of respect, of compassion, of the rule of law, of the rights of the individuals, of freedom. Freedom from fear, freedom from crime, freedom to love who you want and not be judged for it, freedom to do what you want with your body. These freedoms are the very things that Stephen Harper and his government are trying to take away. So ask me if I'm upset at the direction he's taking this government and this country? It's not about policies. Rob, I'm talking about opting out of that Canada. I am not. Opting no. out of that Canada. What I am talking about is the fact that there are millions of Canadians who don't see in the direction that this government is taking, a direction that is consistent with Canada. We think back to different governments, the progressive conservatives under Brian Mulroney, who were not necessarily loved or beloved by many, many people. They had a vision that you could agree with or disagree with, but you believed that they believed in a bigger and a better Canada. We no longer see that with Vic Tave's disgusting internet bill today, with the references to Hitler, with the bringing down of the level of debate to where it is right now, Canadians should be outraged. Canadians shouldn't be asking, who does Justin Trudeau actually want to separate? Of course not. But will Justin Trudeau fight with his very last breath to make sure that this Canada stays the Canada that we collectively know it can be? Absolutely. Well,